Hi guys, today is Friday so I'm going to be doing my Friday favorites video. First I'm going to start off by saying that if you haven't seen my video for Tuesday, please, please, please go watch it. Basically I am doing a contest or a giveaway. I am going to be giving a $50 gift card to Amazon or a book depository your choice. All you have to do to enter is to donate to an organization who is helping the people in the Philippines who are affected by Typhoon Haiyan or Typhoon Yolanda. For every five that you donate you get one entry so if you donate $25 you get five entries and then you get an extra entry for tweeting out about it. This is something that I think is just really important and I think we should encourage more selfless acts so I just wanted to encourage you guys that even if you don't have a lot of money to give away I think we can all find five dollars to spare and just so you know there haven't been a lot of entries so far so chances are pretty high that you're gonna win the gift card you have until the end of the month. I know that there are more people who are going to be entering they're just waiting for the next paycheck to come in which is obviously understandable so hopefully you guys are going to be participating in that there's another fundraising effort that I saw online called authors for Philippines which is basically where a bunch of authors are getting together to auction off a bunch of their books or arcs to their new book I saw this because Rainbow Rowell posted about it because she's giving away a signed copy of attachments a hardcover copy which is very rare to find and then she's also going to be giving away an arc of her new book Landline which doesn't come out until next summer I believe so definitely check it out there's a bunch of authors that are participating I saw stuff for Neil Gaiman Jojo Moyes so you know there's dozens of authors that are participating in that so definitely check that out if you have some money to spare personally I'm not going to be participating in that one because I don't have a significant amount of money to give so it seems unlikely that I would actually win any of these bids and then I saw another little thing which is not related to the Philippines but basically there is this girl who works at a homeless shelter that is specifically catered to veterans and they don't really have any books there for the veterans to read so she was looking for people to donate books and obviously as booktubers we kind of have more than we probably should. So she's just asking if people can donate some books to her. There is a form that she created on Google where you just basically have to put in your name, your email address so that way she can contact you and then just approximately how many books you would be able to give even if it's just one or two books. All you have to do is just fill that out and then be able to mail it to the location when it's time. Or if you just want to give a monetary donation, she is willing to accept that as well. So I will have a link to that Google form down in the description below. And there's also information at the top about what she's doing and who this is. And there's also an email address so if you want to email her personally to ask questions about it or anything like that, it's all available to you. Next, I want to highlight two YouTube videos that caught my eye this week. The first one is from iJustine and it's her comments talking about Google Plus and the comment system and this whole thing. And I'm kind of over everyone talking about this like after basically Friday or Saturday I just stopped watching the videos that talked about it because there's nothing really that can be said anymore that hasn't already been said but I really liked iJustine's comments. I don't even watch iJustine, it just came across my Tumblr feed. She actually has a really mature and interesting and I think a solid take on Google Plus and the comment system and even just YouTube in general. And then the other video is from Kels Not Chels who I hadn't heard about before but again I came across her video because someone else shared it but apparently there are these young teen tween girls who are going on YouTube and basically just recording themselves and then asking their audiences if they are pretty or if they're ugly and they want honest opinions about it and the idea of that is just so heartbreaking and I think that this video response to that is probably the best thing ever. Even being a 20-something girl hearing those things from someone else is just truths that you need to be reminded of because we live in a world that is constantly trying to make us feel bad about ourselves so that way we'll buy things and do things that we might not normally do or buy. So I definitely recommend watching that video no matter what age or gender you are because it kind of broke my heart and I thought it was just really beautiful. And then finally some new 
music that I have been into so now that it's getting colder outside my music tastes or my music preferences kind of change a little bit and the spring and summer I like super upbeat electronic dancey type music and then once it starts getting colder and it's dark all the time I like music that's much more mellow things that are acoustic preferably with strings so the album that I have had on repeat literally this entire week has been Agnes Obel's Aventine, I believe that's how it's pronounced. I probably mispronounced all of that. She is from Denmark and she makes really great music that's very instrumental and very mellow, but that doesn't mean it's boring. She plays piano, so it's very heavy on the piano side, but she also includes strings, which is basically how you win me over if you want me to like your music just add a cello and I came across one of her YouTube videos where it's her and a cello and a violinist and they are performing in a studio in Germany and it's just so beautiful and her voice has this haunting sound to it that uh, grabs my heart. I love it so much. My favorite songs are either the title track Aventine and then the other one is The Curse. I really like The Curse because the strings are a lot more percussive like they don't just play they use their bows to like hit the strings and then they use a lot of pizzicatos it's definitely one of those situations where i find it really interesting because i play those instruments so to hear the instruments used differently just intrigues me so i just highly recommend it i love it i just love it so yeah those are all of the things that i wanted to talk about this week as usual let me know if you guys like any of the things that i talked about if you're participating in any of these fundraisers that are happening here online let me know what you guys have been enjoying this week let me know if your music chains changes with the seasons like it does for me so yeah that's all i have for now have a great weekend guys bye